Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. Jack and I are in the adventure van, and this is a very big day for Jack. What's going on right now? Getting my snow bike. Are you excited? Very. You haven't seen it yet? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see it right there. We were riding, uh, I went riding Sunday with a group of guys, and one of the guys, our team leader, our group leader was Barry, or Barry, Robin. And I liked his bike so well that uh, I gave him a call yesterday and said, hey, would you be interested in selling that? I'm looking for a bike for Jack. And here it is. Oh, right. I didn't know if you knew that. Yeah. Must have. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is worm in here. Yeah. I see one of these trailers in my future. Are you a dealer for these as well? No. <laughs> What's something like this cost, just out of curiosity? Um, around 20. 20. With the furnace? Yeah. And this is what, a 14? Uh, 20. Oh, this is a 20? Yeah. So I can put quite a bit of, uh, I can put quite a bit of stuff in it. Oh, the furnace is really nice. Oh, who, isn't it nice? Who makes this? Uh, Trails West. Trails West, and you like you happy with it? Yeah. Well, and then I did the floor. I did the text uh, or the race deck flooring because it's sure nice rolling bikes in and out of here. Just a little bit slipperier. Yeah, and I don't have to, you know, for carbides on snowmobiles, I don't have to worry about it. I just skid right across. So, Jack, you might not know this, but this uh, snowmobiles. To run in reverse, they shut the engine off and restart it. The engine actually runs backwards. Oh. So you don't have to have a heavy transmission and all of the yeah. complicated stuff. The old yeah. outboard engines used to do that too, the Mercury's. They called them dock busters because if you didn't get it turned off and restarted, by the time you hit the dock, mm -hmm. you smashed into it. Mm, yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is all of the accoutrement here for the yep. motor side. Everything that's there. Uh, that's Oh, also all your owner's manual, all the tools, um, special tools and everything. Oh, and the spare belt, because uh, they come with a spare belt for the Yeti. Yeti belt. is all in that uh, box. Awfully nice of Jiraiya to give you the light in there, Jack. I would have taken the heavy end, but... <laughs> but you didn't. I'm kind of the tank in this scenario. Where are we putting this? That's probably good for right now. That is a good looking machine, Jack. Mm -hmm. Can you give me the walk around? What's it got on it? Uh, it has the... Seat Concepts heat seat. So, so this one. was a 2018 CRF R. Mm -hmm. Honda. I think it's got a titanium gas tank. Apparently it has a small gas tank. Yeah, it's very small. That's why so. you've got the big can, the Yeti can on the back. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt you, so go ahead. So yeah, we've got the Seat concept seats, which are the really comfy ones, apparently. Right. Um, heated handlebars. So the hot air uh water from the engine goes up here yeah, and then runs the, through these and heats them the hose up. right there mm -hmm. nice led light yeah uh got the led lights we have trail. Is that on a factory switch it's, it's on this that's switch. nice yeah um trail tech we have here voyager pro mm -hmm. so obviously the fact that it's a snow bike so it has the ski and then the yeti yeti 129 track mm -hmm. and then extra fuel tank I love the dual exhaust. That looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I have to say that uh, the Hondas might be better looking than the KTM. What do you think? Now they're both pretty good looking. The KTM, looks, I think the KTM has a better 
body. I think that its body pieces are cool. You like the fabric or the plastics better? Yeah. Very similar though. That is really nice, Jack. I am super excited. So we are going to, uh, we're actually working on the wood stove today. Uh, Jack and Jirai and I, we got uh, started installing the wood stove and the pipe. Uh, we finally got the inspection um, or the permit filed for. So we're going to make that penetration. So we might have fire in this today. And then, so what's it, Wednesday? Mm, I think so. Uh, so that'll probably be tomorrow's yeah. video. And then, Lord willing, tomorrow on Christmas Eve, you and I are going to be... On right Christmas Eve? Or uh, New Year's Eve, we're going to go snow biking. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to put... Uh, we also have to put the bat the blanket, the engine blanket on your bike. Yep. So uh, you have to keep an engine blanket on it to keep the heat in, the, in there because they're in the snow. Yep. And that's the only thing missing on Jack's bike, which, uh, which which it came with it. We just have to install that today. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you're gonna do to it? I mean, it's already been spec'd out to the maximum. So. Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's ready to go. Uh, shy of maybe an auto clutch, but you're used to not having an auto clutch, so you should be fine. Yeah, I, on the other hand, am not. Last time I was on one of the CRFs, it didn't go so well for me. Why not? I uh, whiskey throttled into a group of uh, motorcycle reporters in front of uh, national television. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is the bike? Well, it was a toned down version of this one. <laughs> but essentially, yeah. That's a worrying. <laughs> this is the racing one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks nice. You got different mapping here. That small tank. Probably less than a gallon in there. Oh, you got pegs too. The big flow through pegs so snow and ice doesn't build up on them. Yeah, and they're bigger so you can put your bigger boots on them. Skid plate. Yeah, this, this is really a nice bike. So Robin, um, I don't know if I told the story or not, but Robin, uh, who we bought it from, um, he had this bike when he took me up mm -hmm. over the weekend and I really admired it and we were looking for kind of a turnkey bike for Jack. And I just uh, sent him a text yesterday and said, hey, would you sell me that bike? And he sold it to us for what he had into it. He bought this on an auction, at an auction that was a repossession. Uh, they only had four hours on it. So the bike is essentially new. It's already got this oil change on it. And then the, the 2021 sled is all new. So it's essentially a brand new bike. Mm -hmm. You've also got the fork, the air fork. And what's Snow bike. That, what does deal? that do? I don't know if it puts more pressure in them or what. I don't have that, so I don't know. I'll have to look into that a little bit. Pretty exciting. Um, hand guards, yeah. So tomorrow, Lord willing, and it's snowing like crazy right now, so it should be really good up there. Okay, let's get started on our wood stove install. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad that you get to come up with me. I was telling um, your mother it was kind of sad when I went up on Sunday all the guys were up there with their boys there were boys from 11 to 15 and uh, Jack wasn't able to come so that told me we need to get one you know and I think it's important also you know sometimes it's easy to to think oh okay I'm going to get myself all of this you know the really nice setup and then I'm going to try to cut corners and, you know, get something less for your kids or for your wife. And I, I think that's a mistake. I don't, um, I think you need to set them up in a way that they're going to succeed, that you're going to have a good time out there and not be getting stuck or having cooling or heating issues or cold hands because we cut corners, right? Mm -hmm. All right, jump on it. How does it fit you? I think the, there's risers on the bars too. And it's sitting a little high on those front wheels too. Yeah, I can. I mean, I can touch the ground on one foot. Yeah. Not more. But then again, we're gonna be sunk down in snow. Yeah, it will be. It'll be six inches lower. Right. And is the light? Where's the light switch? Right here. That's nice. Yeah. Very cool, Jack. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. We'll have to take a camera up with us this time. Get some. GoPros or something? Some GoPros or something. Your version of them. Well, I've got some Sony's. 
post Soviet cameras. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get our wood stove in, Jack, and then we will um, we'll get to work going over everything, getting your gear put together, and uh, maybe we'll get loaded up tonight. All right. You want to keep the bike between uh, 150 and 220 temperature wise. Mm -hmm. Now remember, your brake is now on the rear, is on the front here handle, yep. and then your normal clutch, but it's automatic. It's auto clutch, so you don't need to worry about the clutch. Okay. Now make sure that you really jam the gear up in the second because when the transmission fluid's a little bit warm sometimes it can be a little sticky and it'll pop out of gear so really jam it up in the second Pass it down take off and then smash it off hard yes anything else that's about it be careful with that throttle it's got a lot of power Rider as I was. Of course he is. You want to go on the timber sled? It goes really fast. Really fast. Can Where you is your coat, you? sweet loaf? How about her shoes? It's cold out here. We're tough, aren't we? Well, I want you to put me on this timber sled. You want to go on the timber sled? Yeah, when Papa said, put me on the timber sled. You don't think it'd be too fast? Would you Should like your own we? timber sled? I would like to go on the timber sled. Do you want your own dirt bike too? No, I want to go on the timber sled. Oh, there he is. Well, Mrs. W got on it the other day. And about burned up whole tank of gas. I, had a I couldn't time. couldn't get her off. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> was it easier than riding on trails like on uh -huh. moto? Yes, but of course this is the, like a flat piece of land, so it was very it's very not easy. A of and it, it doesn't hurt when you fall. Not into as the bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little icy out. So how was it? The steering on this frightening confuses the dirt biker in me. How's that? It's so slow. You kind of just have to like, please go this way. <laughs> and it slowly turns. It's 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 really smooth. Yeah. Like some of those uh some of the, when going over tracks sometimes while trying to turn, that's a little bit spooky. When you're in the soft, untracked, deep snow, five feet of snow, it's, it's, it yeah. turns really nice, and it's just the ride is so soft. Yeah, here it's pretty, yeah, it's really icy. Did you get Without up into crust. third or fourth gear? No, I just went up to second. Second gear? Yeah. So yeah. what do you think? I think it's really fun. For a first impression. I think, I think I had the wrong snow compared to what we're going to get up on the mountain. Well, remember, yeah, this is melty, frozen, About six inches of snow in a field. Yeah, yeah. and it's uh, it's really icy. That's yeah. An issue. But I, th I thought it was really fun. Yeah. I definitely needed a balaclava, or three. A balaclava, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, I'm wearing a lightweight helmet, so there's that. But yeah. 
And those uh, downhill hem helmets that he has on are for mountain biking. We wear them in the summertime because the dot helmets are so hot, mm -hmm. but that's not ideal for winter. Yeah. And these ones are just to save. We're not, we're, we're going in pretty gnarly stuff on the dirt bikes. We're not on like motorcycles or anything. We're not going down the road. Right. We don't, we ride technical yeah. uh, mountain stuff, but it's uh, usually slow. We're not, yeah. we're not going flat out. We're normally not riding like a lot faster than then uh second fast. yeah second third yeah. So. well cool yeah. well tomorrow your bike's coming and we'll tell you the whole story about where it came from and how it came about I'm excited <laughs> all right well now put it away for me across the road do you want me to do it yeah <laughs>